All right, so the video we're going to be going over today is on how to download Astro Image J, which is the program that we'll be using to take measurements of our star systems. So to be, actually, be able to take measurements and use those in research, we need a program, and the program we're using is this Astro Image J. So to download Astro Image J, the first step is just to Google Astro Image J. It's just one word. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click here on this top link. So once you're in here, we really don't care about this whole top bit, anything. We just want to go down to download an installation package. That's the part we care about. So one thing I want to point out is that they have a version for Linux, Mac, and Windows. But it looks like if you pay close attention, there's two for each. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this installation guide first and then the package. So if you click on the installation guide, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you the Mac version. We'll do a PC version as well. But the Mac version, you're just going to get to a page like this. And all it has here is steps for you to follow just so that you can download it correctly. And if you have any questions, it also does have these um, user forums that I've found really helpful when I've had issues with it. So that would be the first place to check. But what you're going to do is you're just going to follow step by step. So step one, it says download the latest Astro Image J Mac installation file labeled with Java 8. So you're going to come over here. You're just going to click the Java 8 button, and it's just going to send it on over to download. And while it's downloading, we'll just start taking a look at what else we've got here. So it says after we've downloaded it, then we're going to want to double click it and decompress it as an, into an app called Astro Image J. So my download's about done here. We're going to pull it up. Here it goes. So we're just going to double click it, open it up. You're going to notice that it says that there's an error because it says that the developer can't be verified. That's not really an issue right now. It probably should be giving you this. So you're going to do is you're just going to drag this out and you're just going to stick it somewhere on your desktop for now. Okay. We're going to look at our next step. It says drag the Astro Image J app into the Applications folder. So you're just going to open your Finder, go to your Applications. We're just going to come right over here. Notice I already have one downloaded because it's mine, but I'll show you what this. So you're just going to drag it on over into your Applications folder. And it says, do you want to move it? Yeah, you want to move it. Here, I have an issue because I already have an Astro Image J, so I'm just going to say keep both so you can see them. So now that I have the Astro Image J here downloaded into my Applications folder, I'm going on to my next step. It says I need to open a terminal window and enter this command. So the way you do that is once again you go into the finder and you're just going to search here in the search bar terminal. Terminal like this. And I'm going to search under applications because that's what it is. It's easiest to find. It's just this option right here. So you're just going to double click into this and we can get rid of our finder now here. So this is where we can make commands on our computer. So what we're going to do when we want to do this is we're just going to come over here and we're going to copy word for word what it says. So not including the quotes, it says, we're going to copy from the X all the way to the app. We're just going to hit, oh, I missed the one P there. We're just going to hit Command C, come over here, Command V, it's in, and then we'll just hit Enter. And once we hit Enter, we should be able to go on to our Astro Image J. So this puts a command into our computer saying it's okay to open Astro Image J, basically is what it says. So then once you've done that, you can go back into your Finder or excuse me, your applications, yeah, but in your finder. Double click on the Astro Image J and it now should open without any issues. And when it opens, it should look like this, okay? So this is what it'll look like as it pulls up. Let's just go through the last couple of questions it says. It says, you know, it shouldn't have any error messages. Here on step six, it talks about giving yourself more maximum memory for, from 300 megabytes. That's quite a lot of space and to be honest, even doing things where I have over a hundred images, I haven't exceeded that space. So it's really not something that you should be worried about. You can probably get away with 300 and even skip this step, right? And so then here's step seven is close, reopen it. So you don't really need to do that. Step eight is talking about how you need to update it. If you do, if you do need to update it, you'll just be clicked onto it. You'll just go to help and you'll just come down here to, oh geez, here I'm missing it. You just go to update. Astro Image J. Right here. And you'll just click on that and it'll update. So you click on it, you come in here, daily build, hit enter. So you can just follow those steps to be able to get there if you have any questions about that, really. And so coming back here, you've completed all the steps to actually open Astro Image J. So we're good there. The next step is once we've got it open, what do we do next? So first step I'm going to teach you guys is really how to just get the images and then from there we will do another video. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit file and it would seem sensible that you would hit open, either open next, open samples, open recent. These work if you're opening one image at a time, but if you open more than one, you can actually crash your computer. 
So if you want to import multiple images, you're going to go to import, you're going to click image sequence, and then you're going to select whatever file you want to open. So me personally, I'm selecting this pipeline out file, and that's what I'm going to open. Here it says how many images, and it just has, you know, the start with one, end with one, you want it scaled to 100%. This is all great. Everything here you can basically leave the same. You're going to hit OK, and your images are going to pop up and look like this. So if you drag down here, you can scroll through your images. You can see if you have any bad ones. Oh, looks like I have a bad one or two. And they should look exactly like mine because you'll be getting them plate solved, which means you'll be able to see coordinates. Up here it has RA index. You'll be able to see the coordinates as you move around. So the first thing that we're going to do and we're going to say is that your first step really is to try and find out where your star is in this jumbled mess. So now that you've opened your images, you kind of need to know where your star is. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Aladdin. That's Aladdin with 1D. Just like we talked about in the other video, there's ways to use it, get around it. And then you're going to look, you're going to type in your target, and you're going to go. And it's going to take you to where your target is, and you'll be able to see it in space. So if you look at mine, I see that there's this, this, and the two stars next to it. So if I go into my image here, I notice, hey, that looks a lot like, as I zoom in here, that looks a lot like this pair here, and it says that this is my star. So now knowing that, I'm able to make all the rest of the decisions for measurements, for how to measure, all of that will be based on now knowing where my star is. And so we'll talk about that in the other video for how to actually make the measurements. Thanks for watching.